Hello everyone! Happy Friday! Hope everybody's doing okay. Looks like our levels are pretty good there today. Got some good lighting going on today too. Look at all that! It's almost like we turned off the rest of the rest of the house there. Claim your papers! Oh boy, the thing that we always forget to do. Thank you, chat. Go to your library, get your research papers. Uh, do your daily jobs if those guys are there. Looks like we've already done ours. Missions? Got all our missions done? Buzz King, James, Mr. KCD, Winnie Frederick, Exors, Crully, Jeff, Nico, Up Chaos. Welcome, welcome everybody. Hope you're all doing okay. We've got a good chunk of stamina here built up. Okay, but like new icons though. Oh boy. Hey, Dyson Man, more cocks. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're talking about a few things today. We're going to talk about um, hatcheries, eggs. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the aerospace leaks. Um, we're going to run around. We're going to keep some training going. we gotta got to stay on top of that, of course. Uh, we're trying to at least keep one skill training at any given time. Because I think we're pretty limited. Oh, wow. Music's very loud today. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, trying to keep one thing training at a time. Because our biggest limiting factor right now is the time it takes to train any given skill. Yeah, leaks in aerospace. Not a great idea. Buzz King says, is it worth, gen worth getting Gen 1 or Gen 2 land? Okay, so in my opinion, I think Gen 2 land is probably the most underpriced stuff out on the market right now. <laughs> like, seriously? Like, ah, no, don't do all that. That's that's not the buttons I wanted. What up? Uh, yeah, like, for this, just buy all of this. Buy any, like... This is, this is insane. This is crazy. This is an Elysium. So the only issue for me buying land is that I, I kind of only want it to expand the settlement. So there's only a handful of people that I would actually buy land from. But those Gen 2 lands on the market, I think, are, like, so underpriced. Sorry if I missed you welcoming people in. Uh, Orlando... Orla Orland Orlando or the word or Orland Orland a weeder that's a name blind wrath <laughs> ice Mac hi everyone how's everybody doing today oh yeah like if I was if, if you're picking up something specifically for like a long term like you think you know you want something that's going to go up in value in the long term, that's what I'd be picking up. And yeah, look for those deals. People absolutely throw, like, common lands with, like, decent buildings up super cheap sometimes. Um, so we're also on this plan where we're training all of our Martisans up to level 50 now. So we got everybody to that, uh, got everybody up to that minimum, um, 35 for automating Power Cell 2. And now we're working on getting everybody up to 50 as our next target. Hey, Aksenia, happy Friday. Tips for training better. So are you short on experience? Are you short on research papers? Um, what's the area that you're, uh, you're finding is slowing you down? I don't think many people are limited on time. Pretty much anyone who needs, like, just, just keep your levels running. Hey, Babster, it is Friday. Welcome, welcome. Cricket, looking a little cranky today. Uh, we should obviously be feeding all of our Martisans. Hello, little cat. Do you want to come up and say hi? Ooh, what a big cat. Do we have a good view where we can switch to, uh, switch to a webcam here? Full screen? There we go. Cricket's uh, very much in our business today. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we need to make a new scene that's like just uh just cricket full screen. Oh, that's not that's that's not where we were trying to send people. <laughs> All right, away you go. Bye bye. I'm close to making all my skills level 50. Can you suggest which skill to level 100? Oh, yeah, we do. I mean, we got some cameras just for Cricket, too. Hey, Jordy. Welcome. Rusty Rigs. Yeah, we'll do some Rusty Rigs in a second. So we got new webcams just to, like, set up an angle so we can have Cricket cameras set up as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, Punta Cana's pretty good. That's where we went on our uh, honeymoon once upon a time. Um, okay, so choosing skills to get to level 100. So some factors to consider. Um, when you get a skill to level 100, you receive a signet. Um, so you'll get one signet every three days. So something to consider is maybe come in here and look at the price of the different signets. Machining signets, 3,000 a piece right here. Obviously, they all have very, very low um, volume. But when people do need them, you want to look at the prices. Like, lots of people have master fabrication. Very few people have master machining. So those ones are worth a fair bit more. Yep, we already claimed our free library papers today. Everyone go claim your library papers. Um, but yeah, if you're choosing between robotics and mining, I I'd pick up... Probably mining, I think, is more valuable. There's just one crazy person out there who's selling them for like a thousand each. Which I think was just silly. Yeah, given how hard it is to get mining all the way up. Um, yeah, Rusty Rigs will absolutely do. Quickly press that button. It's been a while since we've uh, we've actually hit any Rusty Rigs. Rocket Fuel, yeah, well... Um, what do we know about... What's, what's public? What, what things do we know for sure? We know if we look at profession, no, not profession research. If we look at library research and we scroll all the way down, we can see a bunch of schematics here for Vulcan Metalworks, Rocket Fuel Factory, Velociraptor Engine Factory, Hangar, Fuel Tank, Hopper, Launch Pad. Uh, yeah, and then a couple duplicates down here at the bottom. <laughs> So, rocket fuel, I think this is uh, aerospace research credits that have been, they're using the um, machining symbol as a stand-in. <laughs> um, yeah, so... We got all those. We also have this button to click on. So you can actually look at what some of the buildings look like. There's your ground control station, Velociraptor engine factory, rocket fuel factory. Hey, Gargantu. Welcome, welcome. Our launch pad and some other stuff that's not, not quite ready yet. What do we know that isn't public? Hmm. Hmm. What, what do I know that I can talk about? Um... Well, there'd be st that that's too much hype. I probably can't talk about that. Uh, Morcox and I have something in the works. That that we could probably talk about. Well, I mean, we can talk about we can we can look at what was in the leaks section. We will generally do that at any time. So we had eggs that have come out since our last stream. Um, we have new artifacts coming. So. The Nightcrawler is the uh, composter artifact. And we have Delta V is the rocket fuel factory uh, artifact. So those guys are both coming. And then um, what else do we have? We had, uh, oh yeah, we had this other feature. Um, it makes our plots a little too busy given how much stuff we have everywhere and how not organized it is, but you can Turn on building previews, um, which will show all the buildings everywhere on all the plots. Did uh, did we did we not do it? Did it not? 
what do artifacts do? So artifacts act as a uh, a mythic level five of the building. They also come with fifteen thousand dusk when you start them. And you could take out a hundred a day. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff being worked on in tandem. Um, yeah, that 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 should go right. Um, they also have that marker that appears uh, on the tile here as well as on the globe, right? To help people navigate to it. But yeah, you can see how busy everything gets when we turn on um, <laughs> turn on previews here. Yeah, there you go. Player Guide has lots of new info on aerospace. That's where they keep uh, throwing more stuff. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, uh, for people who want to who want to use these icons and then also want to change uh, the orientation of them, if you use this button up here in the top corner, it will let you rearrange where things are on your plot. This costs you a very small amount of dusk, and you need to own a hauling rover to do it. And whatever building is at the very first slot is what will come up here. So, just costs you 10 dusk and you have to own a hauling rover and you can change all these images to anything on the plot. Yep, that little button there. That's uh, that's how you, you change this image or you rearrange your buildings however you want. Pretty cheap. Switches the order. Yeah, yeah, so we uh, of course have our settlement and um, all the bits of the settlement have different names. And... Uh, we recently added this new section down here on the bottom left, and uh, this was the arm. And th because the naming scheme was going A, B, C, D, E, F, this had to start with a G, but it's also sort of the elbow of the settlement. So E would have made sense, but we went with just stick a G in front of elbow and, and call it a day. So, the Gelbo. <laughs> I noticed you're already level 100 plus on electrical and fab. Does that mean you can uh, only get signets on those two professions? That's correct. Um, we can't trade in anything else over level 100. Not that we have tried yet. We're nowhere close on anything. And we can also only claim one of the two. So you can't. You don't claim both. You have to pick uh, a signet to claim every three days. How are empty power cells 3.4 but full is 4.1? Is that even cost effective to charge them anymore? I don't know. Um, so there's a few factors that go into, uh, charging those power cells at like a really high level, uh, that would reduce the cost pretty significantly. So some of the stuff that I would look at for that would be, um, at, at a very high level, players are going to be using charge power cell three, which basically discounts... So you have to think of three three power cells costing the stamina of two power cells. If everybody's using that high level charge, right? Costs you two, you charge three cells. Um, so there's there's a discount there that's probably baked into that cost, right? If people are really maximizing their profit and then also shooting themselves in the foot by undercutting the the market entirely <laughs> i don't know what people are doing man <laughs> hey this is yama welcome welcome happy to have you welcome on in um anyways we continue you know sort of doing our daily walk around it's tough maximizing profit yeah i mean I'm not sure what some people are doing out there. Oh yeah, there's lots of buildings that give advantages when you max them out. Um, I think there's like electronic parts in uh, make electronic parts in a in a print shop is the next example that comes quickly to mind. Yep, yeah. machine shop, 3D printer. Oh yeah, there you go. Up Chaos says, is there a difference between tools outside the quantity that charge per rarity? Um, n no, like they don't affect your 
drop chance. Oh, you mean scavenging tools specifically. Uh, nope, they don't impact the drop chance or anything. Um... <laughs> Just levels one and two, the stamina surely doesn't. Are people eating their free ration? Because that's like 10 dusk a day to charge a few cells. I, I really couldn't tell you what's going on there, but I will talk about something that I'm planning that I think is um, maybe going to shed a little bit of light, which is playing, uh, starting a free-to-play walkthrough, so like grilled cheese tutorial from scratch. 3D printer, when it's maxed out, you get a one stamina discount on elect electronic parts. I believe this goes from five down to four. Maybe a few other things as well. Uh, we could check over here. These ones aren't leveled up. Uh, yeah, so one less on mushroom cake, one less on electronic parts, maybe some other stuff in there, but yeah. Um, we're doing all the smelting of silicon ourselves because we're trying to build up some mining XP. Wow, did we we actually ran out of CO2? I guess we've just been burning through CO2, uh, smelting, smelting here. That's interesting. I thought I was sitting on like boatloads of CO2. Um, luckily, I do have a bunch of CADs. Uh, where we could just fire up, we could just fire up like a ton of capture CO2-3. This will give us like huge chunks of CO2 and chemistry XP. Uh, how do we find out about these maxed advantages? Uh, well, I think the wiki probably has that information would be my guess. Something to work on and get excited about? Yeah, just do a little bit of digging. Um, ask on the Discord for stuff like that. Connect with the, the guilds who have people who know what's going on. Uh, I'd love a grilled cheese tutorial from scratch. Oh. <laughs> now, we've, we've made a, like, how to make a grilled cheese sandwich video. That's out there in the wild for people to find. Um, if I could have more than one account, I would start a rags to riches blog. Zero investment, see how long it takes me to get land. Yeah, I mean, that's that's sort of the idea. That's what we're going to walk people through, right? Um, that is still a... Do not, do not make multiple accounts. That is against the rules. Uh, we're specifically doing a thing to show people something from the company. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A greenhouse for max level, any advantages besides from sowing ability? Yeah, you can't sow seeds in a greenhouse unless you max out the greenhouse. That's the benefit there. Best way to get machining experience. Uh, sh yeah, shredding copper, I believe. Yeah, like really good. This is the best XP per hour, I think. It's pretty quick. Uh, apart from maybe, like, uh, there's another task. If you can get this, broken power cell. Hey, Steve, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, really good machining XP, but you need this recipe for a, a high-level thing, and you need, also need 50 electrical, but the, the mixed XP is very high in multiple categories. You will go through a lot of broken power cells, but, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you had a, a series going from a really long time ago, it might not still be, uh, viable to showcase now if a lot of things have changed since then. Just got 50 electrical. There you go. So, yeah, uh, broken power cell 3 is just, like, really good XP for a number of categories, but I think pretty expensive to invest in and sink stuff into because, um, like, getting the recipe is tough. I think you can buy it if you have enough uh, credits. 
And then buying a lot of empty power cells is tough as well. So if we head into here and we look for the uh, library research, library research, and then we look for charge power cell three, charge, oh, do we not have it in here? Oh, repair power cell three, there you go. 250 chemistry research in order to pick up that recipe. The TLDR, if someone hasn't played in a few months, what would you be paying attention to? I would be focusing on leveling up um, Martisans to automate the tasks that I cared about. So, like, if you're prepping for aerospace, then probably you're looking into, like, chemistry, mining, any of those that are available. Um... We know that there are going to be buildings that are coming that need uh, energy cores and not power cells. So getting a few Martisans up to electrical 50 in order to help you charge all of the power cores that you can. Or if you really, if you can really push it, get some, <laughs> get some up to 125 and you can really fire up one thorium reactor. Hello, Cricket. Um, can you level Martisans past 100 and not need Signets? Um, do you have a specific example of what you're talking about? Because a Signet is not always a replacement for being level 100. Uh, it's used in some recipes. Hello, welcome, welcome. Gonzi. Always happy to have new faces. For anyone who's just finding the stream for the first time, uh, how'd you find us? Where are you from? We should be looking at um, which Martisans actually need, like Wayne here, needs more electrical experience. So he's someone we should be doing battery conditioning with. Um, he's right here. Just trying to get that electrical experience up to uh, 25,000 is the target for 50 electrical. Make energy cores by PVC. Uh, yeah, or make your own PVC, like, I don't know, mine the regolith yourself and make everything. Uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> I hope library credits have a use. So many sitting there. Yeah, they keep throwing more things into that shop. Is there a cap for Martisans? There is not. What am I doing? Battery conditioning. So battery conditioning um, basically drains your power cells. So this whole task is a loss but gives massive amounts of electrical experience. So if you're trying to quickly level up um, anything, whether it be Martisans or your own electrical level or what have you, from level five to level 50, this is the best experience gain if you don't care about sinking uh, cost into it. Can Martisans get signets? They cannot. I'm loving chat today, everybody. I like everyone coming out of the woodworks and asking questions today. It's keeping uh, keeping us on our toes. You're making me pretend that I know what's going on. <laughs> uh, we're ready to level up down here. So I can take one Martisan to 200 and specialize in all. So Martisan leveling up follow the same specialization as... Um, as uh, players, so they can have one skill past 150, two skills past 100, um, but they don't get, they don't acquire signets, so, good morning, hey, welcome, welcome, happy to have everybody today, always nice to hang out, Fridays are like my favorite day, I love just being here and chatting with people and talking about the game I like playing and uh, teaching people how stuff works. Why in the training hall do the new classes say Martisan only? Will you need a Martisan to do cooking? Yes, upon release, um, 
the four skills that have recently appeared in the training hall, aerospace, cooking, entertainment, entrepreneurship, are going to be Martisans only upon launch. That doesn't mean that eventually they won't make their way to players as well, but at least when they first launch, they will be for Martisans specifically. Uh, Rico, for Martisans soul restock, uh, I don't know if that's something that is coming or not, um, but asking in the Discord would be the best place. What do I think of floor price? A good floor for Martisan, I've seen 2.2. Is this a great price? I mean, I'm pretty sure 5 soul is should be the floor, right? With the current, like, what's soul right now? With a valuation of, like, 80 to 100 per Martisan. Like, soul as, as a price per soul tanked a whole bunch, right? And when Martisans were launched, the target price was like 80 to 100, I think they were being sold at. And then then even it went down at the time, and then they were sold at like 2 to 2.5 soul. Yeah, 4.8 is the floor. There you go, yeah. Yeah. Basically, uh, if you can still get them for two, buy every single one that you can because that's incredibly underpriced given the current value of Soul. Because I think what happened is everyone listed them for Soul, Soul dropped, and then of course everyone bought them super cheap because the price of Soul went down. So then, because I think the value of the Martisan is inherently tied to a an amount that they were sold for, not whatever soul is worth at the time, right? Do you know what the Martisan's skills offer? What does entrepreneur... Okay, so we have entrepreneur, entertainment, aerospace, and cooking. So I think aerospace and cooking, we've delved a little bit into. These have been spoiled and talked about, and we know what's coming a little bit. We, we don't really know what's coming for cooking as much as aerospace, but we know that stuff is coming. Um, hey, Ramza, welcome, welcome. Taltos, hello. Um, entrepreneurship and entertainment, we do not know specifically what is coming for them right now, but, uh, where I think aerospace and cooking may eventually become player skills, I think entertainment and entrepreneurship may be locked only to Martisans in the long term. Archer says cooking is better than aerospace. Well, can't do either of them yet, so hard to judge that. <laughs> Uh, did we miss, uh, I think there was some of these we still need to recharge, keep smelting some stuff. How long will they be Martisan, how long will they be Martisan only, debating whether I need to get a Martisan, I'm limited in what I can get. So, my advice to basically every single person who is playing Million on Mars is to own at least one Martisan, uh, if you're here and you're long term and you're invested and you're like, what? What building do I get into? What thing do I get? A, a Martisan gives you bonus stamina. It is better to just buy the floor, whatever that is, um, and have one so that you, one, get access to any of those skills that are locked behind uh, Martisan only, if that is the case. Um, and given how limited they are in scope for the long term, um, yeah. What's my guess at entrepreneurship? So... I would put either entrepreneurship or, or entertainment into things like the gallery, things like the cantina. Um, if you were going to put skill gates on things like this, or being like maybe change the cantina to be similarly profitable as it was before, but then say that like all these higher level skills, like say transport summer ice were back to like really high profit margins, right? Like, this gets switched up, and it's now, I don't know, double all of these values. But the skill now requires you to be a master uh, entrepreneur or master entertainment or what have you. I think that'd be one way to balance it. Just some just some thoughts. Apparently only a thousand Martisans are being used in-game. Get some of them and use them. Yeah, no kidding. That's so many sitting idle. I... All of mine are working very hard every single day. 
Um, my plan right now is to get them all to 50 electrical across the board. <laughs> I've got 25 eggs. Do I need a license? Uh, you're going to want to start training uh, life science if you haven't already. Poor Martisans working for food only. Four of the thousand and I use them daily. There you go. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, if you're someone who's interested, yeah, so this was on our stream title, this is something we're supposed to talk about today, <laughs> so, uh, if you are interested in growing eggs, um, there's a few things you want to start looking at and making sure that you have access to, um, so one of those would be a high life science skill, so, in order to, uh, in order to grow chickens from scratch and get them all the way to fully grown and follow that whole chain that Mitch posted. Uh, along that path, you're going to need high life science skills. At some point, you may need to buy life science signets if you do not have 100 life science yourself. Uh, though the depth to which that has been explained or explored is not really fully fleshed out. I think that was just a sort of a heads up that was being talked about in the Discord. <laughs> Yeah, really high food requirements. If you have boatloads of Martisans, it's going to be pretty expensive to feed everybody. Um, I tend to just buy big stockpiles of food whenever I have a little bit of dusk income. Uh, like recently, I think an older... I had some, some buildings on the market and something sold, so I picked up a bunch of food with that. Um, can't wait for spicy chicken wings on Mars. Oh boy. We're all just going to up, open up food trucks on Mars and use all of our hatcheries to, to fund that venture. <laughs> Life Science 33. Oh, I think 50 might be sort of the target right now. Most things tend to be 50 as sort of a an entry, like, not an entry level skill, but a you are, you are proficient enough that we're going to send you to work in that area. And I think the reasoning there is that level 50 you can get with no risk. So what I mean by that is when you're rolling your research papers, uh, there's no chance of losing them uh, all the way up to level 50. Past level 50, it is incredibly painful how many research papers we light on fire regularly. Any of us... Uh, any of us players with skills over 50? Oh, boy. I mean, if you watch the stream any week, you see me light papers on fire pretty regularly. Based on what I said earlier, uh, can I check the max level question? You said one skill past 150 and two past 100. I thought it was one past 150 and one past 100. Yeah, we're just counting the same skill in both of those categories. So of the two skills past 100, one of them can go past 150. If that makes sense. Hey, 85 life science. Painful, but I'm chasing a signet. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty hype. Uh, Martisans have to be 10 higher, right? If you're going to automate the task, yes. But if you're not automating, then they can be any level. Or like the standard level, right? Oh boy. Yeah, tons of questions today. Loving it, everybody. Um, yeah, so I think we, we talked a little bit about, um, some of the things that were on the docket. Uh, is there anything we haven't hit that people want us to talk about? Automation is worth it. Yeah, you can automate all your tasks. I like doing, I mean, I have the time to do so, so I like doing them manually because I can use all the stamina exactly, uh, efficiently. But automation is sort of necessary once you get really, really big. Ah, looks like we need to pick up some more papers here. So we're going to continue buying uh, life science research. And we need like nine of these at a time for like 200 a piece. Uh, so those nine papers let us train up three levels, and it lets us avoid uh, the risk of rolling them ourselves. 
40 minutes in and so many answers already. Thanks a lot. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is the best way to get library shards? I'm life science, so thinking I can't craft them. Yeah, we've got people making library shards in our, um, in our engineering bays here. So it's 65 fabrication and you need a recipe. So you need a pretty high fabricator to make them for you. But, uh, I mean, there you go. That's the recipe on screen to make library shards. Or you buy a library and you rip it apart and you get three shards. The building fill side of automation is awesome. I let them artisans add water, batteries. Yeah, you'll see that popping up as we go from plot to plot. Like, we arrive here and it just refills everything automatically. Auto-filled some buildings in the plot. It's a fantastic feature. You don't have to keep messing about with filling all the power all the time. It's pretty amazing. Nico, uh, were you able to level up 150 electrical yet? We were not. Um, it is still 149 and not available yet. Um, but we're keeping track, and of course the team is really good about that kind of stuff, right? Where we, like, if you're someone who is at 149 in a skill and you're waiting, just, uh, send an email to support that's like, Hey, I hit 149 on this day. So for me it was on, uh, November 18th. And so it'd be two signets, I would have collected two, uh, ma or two, what do you call it? Two artisan signets by now. Um, so if you're in that boat, just make sure you're tracking, like, here's the day that I would have hit 150. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> and then they'll just, you know, they'll back pay you the signets that they owe you. <laughs> but I imagine there's not too many people in that boat right now. Um, those really high level skills aren't, uh, aren't super common. Yes, artisan signets are a thing that exist. Um, they are claimed the same way that you claim master fabrication signets. Um, but you need a skill at 150 rather than, uh, 100. And you claim them every seven days instead of every three days. Uh, I swear some of our other solar panels... Maybe we filled a bunch of these yesterday. We've got some empty mining rigs going. I don't know if people wanted to use these without power. Like, we could try and drain these for people to use them. Gotta talk to the life science gang. Yeah, maybe some of those guys have, uh, have hit 150 by now. We've got this thorium reactor that's definitely been sitting idle for a while. Um, and we're trying to get enough shards to get it up to energy core 3. Uh, but the limiting factor, of course, is going to be uranium. Tracking one of those guys down is a little bit tough. Any idea whether they're refunding the tool packs that don't give tools if you open more than two at the same time? Um, I don't know uh, what the process is on that, but I do know... Uh, submit a support ticket. I know that they were, they're aware that that was an issue, so I'm sure they're happy to deal with the people who, uh, who did. Is Pirate Radio level one complete waste of time? Seems the stamina isn't worth the, worth the cost of the power slash vibes. So, that's the thing. Like, sometimes I don't, I don't really care how much I'm spending on this. If all I want is stamina, because I I need stamina to do stuff, and I've maxed out every other way to get stamina, and I need my own stamina because I need to train, sometimes I, it's worth spending on, right? How many boxes did we jam already? The change with the shards having a higher chance than glyphs and vibes? Ah, uh, I haven't touched those. Um, I don't think we have any kicking around right now. We could probably go pick some up, though. Uh, are there any in the shop right now? There's none available for anything, right? Like wax or... No. No wax, no soul boxes. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind opening boxes. 
Let's check, uh, check what we have keys for first would be a good thing to see. Is it in just general resources? Do we have no key cards? Oh, there you go. We have one titanium key card. All right. Ugh. Ugh. It's still so expensive. Uh... You definitely should pick up boxes and some key jammers, so many shards. Uh, when you automate solar panels with Martisans, will it automatically collect and start the new task? So automation, the way that it works, uh, which we've showcased in like a previous week, and there's some YouTube video tutorials on it as well, if you look for like Martisan automation. Um, but basically, you need to visit the building to restart the task, is the gist of it. Nah, nah, we're, we're, we're high rolling here. <laughs> All right. Well, if there's one of these on the market, at least. Oh, sorry, up chaos. I I did see your question. I totally forgot to to follow up. Um, Solana wallet that we use and recommend is Phantom. Um, I think we have a tutorial on how to sign up for it on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, but it's basically just a browser extension, uh, if you're on a PC. Alright. Give us the box. Alright, so. Uh, we will give away whatever is in this box to whoever in chat guesses correctly what the item is. So, take your guesses. If you guess like 12 times, we're not gonna give it away. But you know, each person throw out a guess and if you're the first person who guessed the thing, no, 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 like, you're guessing sealed master electrical tool something something whatever recipe gold whatever pack artisan something tools oh is this like not viewable for anyone oops oh, oh okay uh that was a bit much <laughs> is that is that better sealed master electrical tools Sealed Master Chemistry Tools, Thorium Shards. Yeah, but what rarity? When you automate solar panels with the Martisan, will it automatically... No, G Puelo, we already said that one. Um, watch the video on YouTube if you want a little more in-depth explanation, but basically you have to visit the building to restart the task. Sealed Master Fabrication Tools, Recipe Obsidian Solar, Gen 3 Roverworks, Sealed Master Electrical Tools for the, like, fifth guess. Thorium Shards Common. <laughs> If you're just tuning in, we're going to open this guy, and if you guess the uh, the correct thing, we will give it away to the person who guesses it. There's still loads of make make artisan fabrication tools, make artisan make artisan scavenging tools is in here. Wouldn't that be swell? Oh boy. Um obsidian life science tools obsidian right all the obsidian building packs obsidian engineering bay packs no one has guessed xp is xp actually a reward no it's not possible at these levels <laughs> ah we're gonna we're gonna get some dumb like mythic shards or something aren't we Oh, there's definitely way more options than people. We'll uh, we'll open it and we'll see who's even remotely close to guessing something, something similar. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Reset you. Okay. Good zoom out. Just a scooch. 
We're gonna restart these Martisons. We'll let people keep guessing for a little bit there as, you know, there was a lot, a lot of different guesses in there. Yeah, if you can think free for all now, if you can think of anything that people haven't guessed, feel free to throw out those guesses now at the end here. And then we're gonna launch it. There you go. Wax on and off is gonna take our mythic composter shards. <laughs> Uncommon thorium shards. I think that one's been thrown out there Okay, we got these last couple of people training and we'll pop open this box and see who's getting some stuff Rare mining rig there you go, okay Let's pop open this thing and see who's getting what I think a lot of the sealed tools artisan tools were all guessed which is probably gonna be pretty uh, pretty common but sure, we'll open a, a Obsidian Polar Workshop and give that to Brutal Days. That sounds like a plan. I love calling them out, because then if we hit them, it's like just fantastic. Okay, let's go! Oh, boy. Okay. Hey, let's go! Oh! Ah! Who had their money on anything Obsidian print shop related? <laughs> oh, woo! Obsidian 3D print shop pack. Nobody guessed it? Is it ours? Really? Nobody guessed anything with print shop? I mean, I, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Um, if we go, if we just have a look at what it takes to make it, they look like a cad. <laughs> Obsidian print shop. Good guesses. Oh, people, you're funny. Does it, uh, buildings, buildings, obsidian, no, that's obsidian tool packs. Is it in a building pack in the, in here? Grind and brews and smelters, no. Is it in an engineering bay or a 3D print shop? Under building packs? Obsidian 3D print shop. Oh, guys. Oh, this is so hype. 140 fabrication is definitely within striking distance of something I can actually do. I can get, I can get here. I can do this. I make these signets. This is so, so, so much like the thing that I need, or at least the thing that I can make. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, this is messed up. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, someone tell Mitch the recipe is wrong. We'll have to pass that along. You know what? We'll just hit Rusty Rigs, and then we can give that away as well. Yeah, okay, maybe not. Did you get the recipe or just a pack? No, I th we got the recipe to make them, I'm pretty sure. Another pack with our 300 dusk? <laughs> ah, don't worry, we'll give away something fun at the end for sure. Maybe in celebration of hitting this, we can give away a, uh, a high level 3D print shop. I'm sure we have, like, at least a legendary kicking around. There you go. We'll give away a legendary 3D print shop in honor of hitting the thing that we hit. There's a filter for inventory. No need to scroll so much. Ah, yeah, well, we like scrolling. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Obsidian Polar was autocorrect. I meant print shop. <laughs> well, we'll give away uh, a legendary print shop. Um, yeah, yeah. And then I think, oh, I was going to say we should go and buy a bunch of uh, 
fabrication research to keep training, but um, it's a little bit steep for us to keep doing that. <sighs> Too bad we pushed um, we pushed on electrical first and not fabrication first. <laughs> Uh, I'm not actually sure if we have the experience. We have 270 right now. I'm not sure what it takes. 149 is 400. So nine levels less. We might be close. We might actually be short on experience right now to, to get there. But yeah, uh, we'll, we'll be giving away a uh, legendary 3D print shop at the end of the stream. Um, and in the meantime... We can give away, I don't know. Let's look at something. What else do we have? Mm hmm. 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 We have thorium. Thorium's pretty good. We have so much stuff kicking around. <laughs> like, all these old, like, the Lunar Reliquary. Uh... Do we have any fancy tools? I have Sealed Master Scavenging Tools, which is kind of fun, but we're, we're about to need those whenever we get to... 125 scavenging we're gonna need those tools so 140 is three two eight oh we have a ways to go so that means um what we should be doing is running around to all of these print shops and making legendary solar shards because uh this gives big chunks of fabrication experience I don't need like a bajillion uh, legendary solar shards, but I have been making silicon crystals for ages, so we have more than enough stuff to just pump out tons of these. We're going to get the sealed scavenging tool in game. Um, so you could make it yourself at a couple different buildings. Are you looking for a specific rarity or just any tool? <clears throat> Uh, why are the buildings not showing on your map? I have hidden them on my map. I've, I've tailored my map very specifically. Like, uh, you can't see the background too much. Um, we've hidden a bunch of things. Because I, I really want to focus and talk about the stuff. And not, uh, we're not really showing off the, uh, the, the depth and availability of imagery, right? Like, I don't, I don't mind. I could certainly turn on all of these, like, um, the building preview and, and change all of these settings to see all the terrain and everything else. But I prefer, like, the, the really basic look, right? We should claim referrals. This might give us a bit more dusk. Yeah, Pancake Man picking up 50 dusk for us in the marketplace. A couple other people earning us maybe, like, 100 341 up to 450. <laughs> have you heard sounds in game? I can't figure out what have sounds so far. I don't think that any have. I think it's just the prep getting ready to put them in there. Um, okay, so we've dumped all of our uh, all of our stuff there. That should be about 6,000 fabrication experience between those two plots of 10 legendary print shops. <laughs> <clears throat> where are the referral tokens? Do you mean how do you get them? So you refer someone and then once this gets all the way full and you claim it, uh, your referral balance will show in the top corner here. And then you can go to the shop, uh, go to the referral shop, and you can spend those tokens on stuff in here. So if you're someone who's like, like you, you wanna maybe go actually recruit people. This like this program is so well designed. Like market fees are still dusk. Only thirty day login is tokens. Yeah. <clears throat> so 
advanced pa advanced factory pack for a thousand. But go recruit a million people, pick up an artifact. I still get dusk for my referrals. Uh, yeah, if your referrals are before this system was implemented, if they're after the system is implemented, they follow this this tracking and referral system. If they're older referrals, then you continue getting dusk the way that, that it was originally promised. So two years of dusk and fees and things. Yeah, for people asking about skills, um, we sort of go a little bit at a time where we try and do base. So I did base 25, then get all the skills to 50, then now we're trying to get all the skills to 60, which is why we're doing so much um, mining, uh, machining. These guys were the ones that were lagging a little bit. <clears throat> um, and now you just saw us dump another 6,000 into fabrication. Because we have so much XP to go here. We need to get this to like 328,000 in order to get to 140. <laughs> so we have a ways to go there. <clears throat> General to level 2? No. General is, uh, general is just sort of whale experience. Uh, so we, uh, we have tended to look at the amount in this section as how expansive, uh, players. So general are the tasks which are like, you know, if you're doing those, then you're not even, you're not even focusing on skills. You're just doing other stuff. So. If you're big enough that you're building up XP in general, then you're like a super whale. So we, we're at 56,000, but I'm sure there's players, like, I'd love to know how much uh, general XP your boy, or even, like, Dyson Man probably has a, a good chunk of general XP. It doesn't do anything. No, I, I do not consider myself a whale on Mars. I would say... Uh, there are a lot of players who are a lot bigger than I am. Um, but, uh, you know, I, yeah, I, I, I recognize that I'm probably in the, like, upper section of people, but that's just by, like, being around for a really long time, right? Nobody thinks they're a whale. You ask the whales, they don't think they're a whale. <laughs> um... I just mean, like, so when people talk about the definition of a whale, you're usually talking about, like, someone who has invested, like, boatloads of money and, as a result, uh, have, like, purchased a lot of stuff, right? That, I just, I don't fall into that category. I'm just someone who, I, yeah, I did put in a big bit at the very beginning. I bought, I think, four Founders tokens at the very start of the game, right? Right? And so, in that sense, like, yeah, I put a couple thousand dollars into the game at the very, very, very beginning. <clears throat> but now, it's all of that has built up over time. I've never really taken too much out. Um, but everything that's built up has just been from me playing for months and months and months and months, right? I didn't go out and buy everything that I have. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, if you're looking by pure dusk balance, uh, I'm sure there's lots of people ahead of me right now. <laughs> I don't I don't hold on to too much dusk. I end up investing it in all the stuff that I like playing with, like leveling up a skill, focusing on the stuff, uh, like anything that I pick up. So, you know, I've picked up that pack, and now I want to get my skill to 140 so I can use it. Hey, uh... M Villa, Villas, Milvillas? Welcome, welcome. What does general experience do? It doesn't do anything. This is, this does nothing. Um. <clears throat> Alright, we'll do, uh, we'll do a little bit of a thing here at the, at the halfway mark. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. We will give away a legendary 3D print shop to the first person who can tell us the remaining Dusk balance on Leon Dusk's Superstraw. 
Yeah, yeah, usually we play, we, you know, somewhere between an hour, two hours. Go find it, whoever posts it first. It started with 15,000 and you can withdraw 100 a day. So we talked about this earlier, right? Artifacts have a dusk balance on them. They slowly drain. I did sell the super straw, but that it still exists and has a dusk, dusk balance on it. <laughs> I... Oh, 240... Oh, wow. 294k is uh, quite the guess. <laughs> Alright. I assume that someone has gotten it by now. I think. Maybe not. No, maybe not. I should open it on a second monitor just to double check. Um... Where can I pull this up? On here. Is it? Oh. <laughs> okay, all right. Someone's gotten it. Ah, we can't see it on here. Okay. Um. So yeah, we did sell this. So now when we uh, when we open it up, it tells us we don't have this NFT anymore. But because they take up zero room on the plot, uh, I don't really care too much about figuring out how to get rid of it. <laughs> but... Uh, for us to go find it, we go here, we go to artifacts. Um, and we look at all of the different artifacts, and we look for the super straw. Super straw. Am I blind? Where's the artifact? Am I blind? No. Where's the super straw? Okay. <laughs> there we go. And we can see that the dust balance is 3,000. <laughs> yes, or we could also go to someone's settlement and go find it on the map and look at it that way. <laughs> um... So the first person to guess the balance correctly was who? Minzan Lucky, congratulations. Drop your wax address in the chat and we'll make sure we get a legendary 3D print shop sent your way. I do I love skill testing questions they're great <clears throat> if you like we've talked about these have a dust balance and things like that and then you know how to like go track it down and figure it out Yeah, we've got a couple of 3D print shops now kicking around. We are also, I think, sitting on like a million solar shards. But didn't they change them recently? Isn't it? Yeah, like it's so many more. <laughs> Is 38 now to make one? And it was what, eight before? But I suppose like if the rewards are balanced in, uh, if the rewards are balanced, then that's fine. Rocket fuel? I think rocket fuel is, uh, Oh, thanks, Digital. Have a good one. <clears throat> I think uh, Jumpgate owns Rocket Fuel now. It was Hams originally. Uh, I don't think we have credits. We definitely have a lot of glitter, but we don't need to buy any key cards because we have no boxes to open. We could do... I mean, a thousand glitter for a composter pack feels... A little bit rough when like for twice that much we could get a, a thorium reactor 
Should I convert my shards to bizarre coins or not worth it? So right now we don't know what the rewards are going to be, right? I don't think they've been put out. So eventually you'll be able to um, go to the bazaar, roll your coins, and collect house credits. I think you're collecting house credits anyway, but we don't know what the house credits are going to be spent on yet. Does Glitter from Artisans not drop today? Glitter from Artisans doesn't drop for a while. Uh, I think it's a month away. Check out the jammers for boxes, fun mechanic. Okay, we we'll go we'll go dig into it. <clears throat> Who hasn't uh, has anyone not played around with them yet? With the key jammers, and are they cheap enough that we can just do copper boxes for a for a laugh? Like copper lockbox. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 We could do some of these. Give me, give me some of these. Give me some key jammers. How bad is this gonna be? Are we gonna like absolutely destroy everything? Oh, we can't buy that many. Uh, three. We bought too many boxes. Okay, let's show off what these things do then. What's the advantage of a higher level bazaar? Uh, you can only roll certain rarity coins in the levels, so. Common at level 1, epics require level 3, mythics require level 5. December 14th for Martisans, there you go. 20% chance of opening, have not played around. Okay, yeah, we'll show them off then. So, key jamming copper lockbox gives a whole bunch of different things. Uh, there's all kinds of, there are some packs and some tools and things in here. If we hit anything fun, we'll give it away. If we hit anything like above this line, right? Any make a tool, any gold recipe, we'll give that away. Uh, so this 4% means 4% of the time, the key jammer and the box are both going to break. 20% uh, of the time, uh, the box will open and we'll get something. And I think uh, the rest of the chance, so 76% of the time, the key jammer will break, but nothing will happen. Some uncommon thorium. Yeah, this would be nice. Get some uncommon shards for ourselves. But yeah, if we hit anything here and above, we'll give it away. So any of the, the recipes or the packs or the things. So you're, you're all hoping for those symbols. The little recipe symbol or the little uh, gold pack. Uh, but presumably we're just going to break a bunch of keys. <clears throat> Yep, so that is us breaking the key and getting the lockbox back. <laughs> so, we might need to make more keys. <laughs> uh-huh. <clears throat> but, presumably, it's cheaper than buying a key card, right? Because uh, buying a key card is going to cost us 300 So, if we can get it in... <clears throat> what is it? Five. But it's 20%. So on average, it should cost us less key jammers than it would buying a card, right? Yeah, if you, if you break both, it shows nothing. Ah, yeah. That'd be unfortunate. Okay. Nope. Okay, we broke all three of our key jammers. Time to go just buy some, uh, some key cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me a copper key card. I'll just open it. <laughs> All right, same thing. If we open, if we get the fun stuff, we'll give it away. If we don't, we're going to not worry about it. Uh, what's next? Oh, Million. I like that song. All right. Boop. Novice mining tools. Not quite. Um, you know what we could do? We could wrap some glitter and sell that off and buy some more key jammers with that. So sell this guy for like whatever the highest buy order is. Use this dusk to then go off and buy more copper key jammers. Oh yeah. Oh now we're now we're rolling. Give me like ten key jammers for forty four and a half. Yeah, yeah, give me those key jammers. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright. 
We're busting open some copper lock boxes. <clears throat> <laughs> or not or we're just gonna break a lot of key jammers yeah more cox this was a dangerous mechanic to show me <laughs> I, I will use so many key jammers hey some common thorium shards that's not bad <clears throat> uh hi trumps welcome <clears throat> all right uh nope that's a broken key jammer Oh, it's great. <clears throat> I just know I'm going to burn so much dusk doing this. Eight, oh, six, six common composter shards. That's not bad at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like that's a, that's profit, right? Six of these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, we can make them too? I should really look up how to do all this stuff before I start digging in. Yeah, this is how it starts. We try and open something fun to give away. Yeah, composter shards have come down a fair bit, but we uh, we don't need common shards. We'll just give these away to whoever needs them. Machine shops, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think um, now that there's more places to acquire the shards, they've come down a fair bit. Uh, let's see if we can't make some key jammers. Copper key jammers. So we make one at a time. Uh, we're lacking circuit components right now, but I think we've got basically everything else. That's cool. They're, they're not too bad to make. But realistically, we're going to make all these and then destroy them. <clears throat> And we should, like, roll Rusty Rigs with one of our three rolls that we have left. You know, I'm, I'm going to go down to zero, because on the last roll, that's, that's when we hit it, right? It's when you're down to your last 20 dusk that the game says, you know what? Have a... Have a thing. <laughs> Machine XP, spam the key jammers. Okay. Two more boxes to open. Nope. That's a, that's a nope there. We got five more keys. Oh, we broke a box. <laughs> we hit the 4% and we broke the box. Whoops. <clears throat> hmm. We've hit the 4% more than we've hit the 20%. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I can't imagine doing that on a... We had a 8k dusk earlier. We bought a titanium lockbox and we hit the uh, obsidian um, recipe. All right, four more tries. The, on average, no, we wouldn't open this on average. We'd break all four keys, but maybe we'll get a little bit lucky. Uh huh. Okay. Two more tries. Uh huh. Okay, uh-huh, one more try. Just a little bit lucky. Hey, four common composter shards. Okay, we did it. And somehow we've managed to go from starting the stream at eight, nine, ten thousand dusk to three at the end. Hmm. No recipes for us today. <clears throat> well, so here's the uh, here's the other thing to show though is like if we hit any of the recipes like these don't have trade prices right now but I I can guarantee you people would pay you thousands and thousands of dusk for any of these recipe packs so that's what you're playing for right uh, I don't think any of them have been, have been traded oh there you go a recipe for an epic solar panel for five thousand but yeah. Basically, like any of these things. <laughs> How to get rid of all your dusk. Uh, yeah, buy, buy boxes and use those. Um, we got, oh, we should have restarted these. We claimed them and then walked away. Um. <laughs> I've, I've never, I have never opened this, <clears throat> gone to train someone and gone, Oh, what am I missing? Dusk? <laughs> uh, 
<clears throat> okay, well, let's head back to the market and let's sell off probably some of the stuff that we've picked up. Um, let's look at things that we own. There you go, we've got some, some of these guys to sell off. I'm sure people need some legendary composter shards. If anyone needs commons, we can sell those off. Well, we'll just leave that for someone to pick it up. <clears throat> um, we have... Grow mushroom, make land. Yeah, I don't know about all those. Research papers we're kind of pushing on. Scavenging tools, not so much. We have... Not really a stockpile. What about... Polar shards? No, people don't really need polar shards. Or, or, uh, thorium shards? We have thorium shards. Yeah, there we go. People want, like, nine for the commons. Bunch of these for, like, 35. Happens all the time. <clears throat> uh, I think we're actually trying to level this one, so I think we need to hold on to those. There you go, we sold off a few things so we can at least train up our Martisans. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I've never seen that button in the red. That's very amusing to me. Um, it's like, oh yeah, he probably just doesn't have enough XP. <laughs> How do we join the Discord? Yeah, so you can join the Million on Mars Discord. Uh, if you just type exclamation mark Discord in the chat, it'll direct you over there. Um, I try not to advertise my personal thing too often, <clears throat> um, but if you do want to join my settlement, I think exclamation mark mm, rent or exclamation, yeah, rent might link you there. Um, and I, like, you know, because you asked, I'll do a short little spiel, but the Cheese Oasis focuses on like positive engagement. We just care about building a community of friendly people. We watch movies on Friday nights. We play poker sometimes uh, on the Discord. Um, but generally, um, you know, we're there, we're here, and we're having a good time. We got lots of info and we talk about things, but we're primarily a friendly, positive community, first and foremost. So, I think uh, probably, you know, shout out to anyone... If you're here with the Cheese Oasis, post your cheese block in chat. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of you out there. There you go, regular board game nights eventually too. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, we're all about like planning community events and building uh, camaraderie. Oh, we should probably claim all of our settlement dusk. That would have been better than trying to finagle some uh, shards to sell. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, there you go. Exclamation mark Discord will make your way over to the Million on Mars Discord. Great community. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we have... Oh, anyone who's seen me talking in, like, multiple different channels. Oh, boy, I'm so pumped about our cheese uh, advent calendar that we got. <laughs> so... Oh, movie night. Yeah, movie night on Friday evenings is over at the Cheese Discord. That's not the main Million on Mars server. Um, so the cheese for today was a... Some pretty basic cheddar thing. I think they're, like, getting you into the, the thing. Uh, no? We were looking at different ones and, like... <clears throat> We, we were debating getting, like, a wine advent calendar, but we, we stuck, we're sticking with the cheese one that we have, I think. There you go. We could have used this dusk to go run around and do stuff. Whoops. <laughs> that would have been better than uh, trying to sell a bunch of shards. Uh, right, we probably have some more battery conditioning to start as well. <laughs> I like that, Crully. <laughs> Fertilizer selling at 20, the end is nigh. I know nothing about that entire production chain, so... Uh, what about sowing seeds? You need fertilizer. But I feel like you make massive amounts of seeds, right? Like, you generally break even, and then 80 and 40% you get tons extra. 
Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Oh, I love that one. Uh, I know people talked about it a fair bit. I've... <laughs> Our Discord link, uh, that's why uh, we were linking the settlement. If you go here, you open the grilled cheese settlement, and you join, you can find the Discord link in there. I mean, I'll just do that. That's fine. There you go. But join the settlement in order to get access to the Discord link is the, the gist of it. <clears throat> um, crazy part isn't how much fertilizer costs, it's how much the coffee seeds cost. Yeah. Soy is rough. Are you losing on the soy, soy sewing? 30 in oh that's a range that's 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 such a gamble versus coffee seeds yeah like coffee seeds look great like a narrow range for your gains and losses oh oh thank you doge hype what a thank you thank you for your kind offer good sir uh Yeet. <laughs> Battery is probably also a good one to talk about. We got the updated break chances now. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> At most five seeds lost, soy is 15. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, okay, so uh, batteries. Can we look at this? Is this a thing that even exists? Uh, yes, we could have a look here. It's not It's not visible anywhere though, Morcox, is it? It's just, um, we know it's a change that happened and we're just gonna, we could talk about it. Cause I don't think you can actually see anywhere that that's a thing that exists. Because it's definitely a good thing to show people. Yeah, okay. Well, for anyone tuning in and who isn't aware, um, some changes happened recently with uh, recharging power cells. So when you put these guys in, uh, they have a break chance, and the break chances have been adjusted. Uh, so when you put in your power, uh, the chance is four, three, and two. So if you're, it depends on your electrical level. So if your electrical level is between zero and 49, um, your break chance is 4%. And if your electrical level is between 50 and 74, your break chance is 3%. And if your electrical level is 75 or higher, then your break chance for your batteries is 2%. Is it 543? I thought it was brought down to 432. But, you know, roughly the idea is that you're you get less broken batteries the higher your electrical level is. Cheese Oasis is the settlement. Yeah, that's correct. This is the Cheese Oasis. For people who are trying to join, um, just give me a heads up and I'll make sure we get you the proper rules. We try to make sure that we set rules for uh, people who are actually active. So Anyone who was actively renting buildings, we upped their role a little bit so they could actually do stuff. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Five, four, three percent. Hmm. 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 Uh, can autofill batteries. Yes, correct. they're trying to increase the battery prices they're not trying to do anything they're giving you chances to break less batteries by putting them in uh two percent reported before but on drop it's three percent the team are looking if it should be two or three yeah they'll uh, they'll adjust everything if it needs to be fine-tuned a little bit but yeah um it, it's not really a like they're trying to directly increase or decrease a price of something on the market it's more uh, players were upset that things were breaking as often as they were. Uh, we need to not use you. Who needs electrical experience? And why do we keep defaulting to you? Oh, it's because he keeps coming up as aerospace, so we're not seeing this, uh, electrical. Okay, so let's... I did not mean to sink. 
I meant to uh, sort by electrical level and look at the bottom. <clears throat> so you, like Clara needs experience, Jesse needs experience, you have plenty, you're close, you need more. So Wayne, Wayne still needs lots of training, so let's keep using Wayne. You, yes, assign task. A bonus for people that leveled electrical. Yeah, so just a little, it's such a tiny, tiny thing for the people who have higher electrical levels to get like a tiny reward for getting to 75. And the nice thing about putting it that, putting it at that level is that everybody can get that reward. It's not locked behind specialization. So um, anyone can train their way up to uh, 75 and benefit from it. Did we end up running out of key jammers? Do we have one more lockbox? I can't remember. Uh, can't remember what we ended up with. Oh, we ended up with none. None lockboxes and key jammers. Okay, well, we'll buy one more. <laughs> it's not tiny if you refill 500 a day. There's a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, that's great. But, like, from my perspective, I'd set my own break chance to, like, 10%, 15%. Broken batteries for me mean, like, tons of machining experience. I'm happy to break, like, tons of batteries. I don't care. <laughs> right? Because the Repair Power Cell 3, like we showed off earlier, was a recipe where I'm buying broken power cells because I want to do that recipe to get the machining XP. <laughs> if a bunch of my batteries break, I just get to do it more. <laughs> Uh, we'll buy like five of these because on average five is enough to open one. Yeah, yeah, I mean we do. We buy broken power cells. But that's why I'm saying like the percent chance doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, let's grab this. Is, are people, people want these reactors? Like I don't mind pricing them. I just don't know what, what they're... Where's thorium... So we can give them, like, I mean, this is still way under, right? We have this at 20,000. We can bring the common one down to, like, 2,500, I guess. If people just, we're, we're really just trying to, like, give our buildings away to people. <laughs> there you go. 2,500 and 20,000. Hey, Amorim. Welcome, welcome. I use mine for robotics. That's awesome. Remember when I bought my common for 6k and we all thought it was a steal? Yeah. I mean, now they're available in a lot more places, I think. All right. On average, our five keys should be enough to open this one lockbox. Uh-huh. Okay. And we'd really like to see some some tools, some fancy recipes out of this thing. Mm-hmm. It's a slot and size, I think. Most want rare and above. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, because then it's cheaper to upgrade it to unlock the three... The three, uh... Charge three cores at once, right? Please! Okay. Today was a great stream. The energy is very positive. So many questions were answered. December will be awesome. Yeah. I think the, the stream generally carries this energy. Like, everyone's really positive while we're here. Okay, we, we broke all of our keys. <laughs> all right. Sure. Fine. <laughs> Can we, uh... No, we, we can't, right? We can't get another one for, like, another however long. These things are on, like, a massive cooldown. Ah, whatever. Maybe later. Um, cool. What was our, what was our last thing we were going to give away? We did our, le uh, our legendary print shop. Have we talked about composters? We could. Access blend number seven should be coming today. It was delayed by a week, um, but there'll still be eight total tournaments. Um, yeah, we can go look at the composters a little bit. For anyone who wants to know a little bit about, about those and what they do. Uh, so currently ours are definitely climbing. Uh, we need to be pulling out more soil on them uh, to bring down this moisture. 
That's not even going to do that much. But it's only per day, right? So it should slowly bring that down. Scrub all moistures for when you break your, uh, your composter. I'm confused about the plan for them. I missed Cyber Monday when I saw the post it was closed for five minutes. Ah, I need a composter. It's my next buy. Yeah. So the composter is the first building that you need to actively manage it or it will become filled with hazard and then you'll have to scrub it yourself using a master signet if you want to fix the building. So uh, the ways that you keep it managed are by displaying the sunflowers to lower the moisture and by taking soil out consistently because on a daily basis as your hazard climbs it will convert bio waste to soil and build up moisture so you need to regularly take out that soil to lower the moisture consistently keep waste under four and you can yeah yeah so eventually if your bio waste does all convert to soil and you keep taking out that soil um you could let it sit idle after this bio waste goes down enough um, but same thing over here, right? That's five bio waste that got turned into soil. Our hazard climbed a little bit. We want to take out all that soil and keep that moisture going down. But like doing all this saves us another day, either four days to 12 days, depending on how we roll on these. Um, so that probably gives us another week before we have to come back and sort of fix it again. And this is regularly creating soil for us with pretty minimal efforts on our part. Good chunks of soil. So really cool, I, like I really like the mechanic. So if there's no waste, it won't produce hazard. Yes, if there is no bio waste, it shouldn't keep climbing because there's no bio waste to turn into the soil. <laughs> is my understanding, but not not a guarantee. I have not played around enough with it to, to see if that's actually how it works because I just keep mine actually running yeah. But the main thing is just leave it leave it at these middle levels, right? Keep it around here, take out your soil, let your bio waste slowly convert to soil. If you really want, you can make worms and you can start getting fertilizer as well. My best items are epic solar panel and rare mining rig. Hey, congrats. Epic solar panels are great. Pump out a good amount of uh of power cells for yourself. Um I would like to win on Rusty Rigs, so we could give someone a, a rig or a rover works. Uh, but I guess we could also just flip through some buildings and uh, and pick something. <laughs> we've got we've got some uh, like an epic grind and brew and an epic polar workshop. Less than five bio waste and it won't build hazard while inactive. There you go, perfect. Yeah, how many worms do people have total? How many have people built up by now? We could give away one of these. Uh, we will be giving away this one already, so let's not look at that. What about an engineering bay? Like, do people have? We, we can't give away this. This this building is worth a fortune. You can't get these anymore. This is not worth 2500 This is probably worth closer to 25000 if I had to guess, for how hard they are to get. <laughs> Um, I always use mine to make compost. I've been stockpiling worms since I managed to get shards. Nice. Uh, yeah. What about engineering bay? Do people people need an engineering bay? I think grind and brew is probably like. Have any sold even close to remotely recently? No. Like, it's been a week since anyone sold even a Gen three. And then any of the older ones, it's been like months. These price, this, this is not, this is not what these are actually worth. <laughs> Working hard, trying to get moisture down. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. <clears throat> so we'll give away a common engineering bay. Uh... It is Gen 1, not Gen 3. <clears throat> it's been hard to get a grind and brew? Yeah, I mean, they're they're pretty much impossible, right? I don't think we have any. No. 
blueprints. Yeah, we don't have any on chain either, right? No. I think we had a pack once upon a time, but we definitely opened it. <laughs> we have the supply pack and tool and supply pack number 420. <laughs> Why is the grind and brew in demand right now? What did I miss? Um, it's not like it's in demand. It's more like it's just a rare building. Um, and if you're maximizing all of your gains, you want to be doing coffee every day. So it's just, oh, you also need it to make uh, ground coffee to go in the composter. Is it worth it to make a common at Fab 35? A common grind and brew? Uh, possibly, if you if you want to be able to grind your own, make your own coffee grounds to go in your composter, uh, would be the reason to do it. Life science continues to climb up while we stream. You need one, you need ground coffee for the composter, yep. Yeah. Uh, I have one of all the buildings except Grind and Brew. I don't know why. Because Grind and Brew is difficult to acquire. Um, it no longer is offered. It's not dropped anywhere. You can't buy packs for it. <laughs> ah, yes. We definitely, we've given away a few number 420. Um, we have, we have a, a decent collection here of uh, those mint numbers. <laughs> we have we have founder token 420. <laughs> Yeah, so we've collected a bunch of these, which I think was all pretty fun. Fab tools, some different buildings, uh, swivel. Some grinder brews are available on Atomic Hub. Uh, yeah, what are we looking at for grind and brew? I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, they're pretty hard to pick up, so. You could just build one in-game, though. Uh, someone was saying if you... Grind and brew, grind and brew, print shop? Nope. Uh, machine shop? Machine shop. Yes. There you go. 130 machining. <laughs> I feel like there's ways to just build the buildings, right? You can, um, yeah, yeah, like, just make a common one at level 40. Just to have one, right? You don't need to build the packs and, like, have a chance at the really, really good ones. Uh, some grinder brews are available. Yes. Uh, I opted not to get one before, but now... But I need one just to place on my special building set in a single plot. Ah, there you go. <clears throat> oh, yeah, if you can track one down, like... Some people have grind and brews sitting on, like, lands that they had, right? And minting tokens? Yeah, yeah. But you only need one to, to pump out a common building. And, like, for such a rare building, like... Yeah. Anyway. Um, rusty rigs? No? Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> we'll be we'll be okay. Um, I don't think we have too many other buildings to, to sort of run through. Uh, we were focusing a little bit on picking up as many of the gases as we could because uh, we only have one methane. Maybe we should start making some of that. Uh, hydrogen, we've got a decent amount. Oxygen, we've got a decent amount. We've run out of CO2 recently. Uh, so maybe we should start making methane in some of these. Oh, our chemistry level is too low to make uh, the best one. And we're low on stamina. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just do this for now. <clears throat> um, so this, this all spawned because of a discussion that people were having on what rocket fuel is made out of uh, as buildings are coming that you make rocket fuel in, <laughs> right? 
like you do this and you go rocket fuel factory is a building that is coming what do you use to make rocket fuel go google that look up how rocket fuel is made what things go into it and then maybe start buying up some of those resources before everyone else does when it gets launched <laughs> uh yep um <clears throat> For people who don't want to buy the grind and brews, we definitely have some available, like publicly rentable, super cheap. Like everything here is about as cheap as it gets. And you can do all the same stuff here. Point one an hour is pretty much whatever. We provide all the power and water basically at cost. <clears throat> ah, there you go. You can find a land with a common grind and brew for 99 wax. Oh, up chaos, is it? It's, uh... There you go. It's not even... You don't even have to Google and do any research. <laughs> it's right there. <clears throat> there you go. They're not hiding anything. <laughs> So if you want to make rocket fuel, <laughs> rent a grind and brew daily. Nice. Yeah. Uh, if you need all the ground coffee because you're trying to get lots of worms, it's a way to go. Uh, we haven't really been using our worms because I know you need them to make all this fertilizer, but we haven't really gone there yet. <clears throat> haven't worried too much about it. Um, so we're gonna restart these last three Martisans and then probably call it here. <clears throat> Unless people have any final questions or anything else that has come up that you want to know about, uh, we're gonna start wrapping it up and then do a little giveaway before the end of the stream here. Okay, uh huh. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I think I've seen that tool. So there is a tool that exists out there uh, that is for uh, you can filter by buildings on listed on lands and i can't remember who built it but uh yeah I, I know that tool is out there yeah go ask people over in the discord someone will get you hooked up and uh send things your way can you show the hatchery yes we did mean to talk about eggs a little bit um <clears throat> but the hatchery doesn't have too much to it right now so you put down a hatchery which i don't think we have any more we can install to show people you place it down, and then there's a task that says start hatchery, <clears throat> which anybody can do. Um, you get the start hatchery token when you deposit your hatchery. Then uh, whatever eggs you have, you incubate that specific egg, which uses up the egg and gives you a hatchable egg when it's done. And it takes three weeks to complete. So all of our eggs right now are sitting around for three weeks. Um... We've got one fancy one somewhere, I think. There you go. We've got one blue egg. Uh, so the rarity on all of the different eggs. Basically, it's brown are the most common, then dark brown, then brown speckled. Then white become a little bit rarer. Then green and blue are very rare. Um, like 50-ish of each of those in the thousand tokens that uh, founders held. <clears throat> So we'll see how all that pans out. We're hatching nine right now. I don't mind having an odd number because it's not like you're going to get exactly 50-50 uh, hens and roosters, right? So if you read in all the stats of what you get, uh, at the very end of all of this, you have 55% chance of getting a hen and a 45% chance of getting a rooster, roughly. But it, it depends on the types of eggs and other stuff. But uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's most of what's going on with hatcheries right now. It's a waiting game. 
uh, and really only all the founders are playing around with their hatcheries. You could go buy one on Atomic Hub. You don't have to be uh, a founder to go buy egg. There you go. A pretty expensive egg. Um, but they're out there for the people who want to pick them up and give it a try. Eight roosters, one hen. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but yeah, I guess for the last thing that we'll do today, we'll set up this uh, giveaway for a common engineering bay. And then, uh, then we'll call it. <laughs> if you want the mint one blue egg, yeah, I guess uh, that's Morcox has that one out there somewhere. The mint one blue egg is just like a collector thing. Uh, let's close this, complete that. Add a giveaway, custom giveaway for a common engineering bay. And we'll set it to two minutes, one common engineering bay. Add custom. <clears throat> hey, congrats, Minky. That's exciting. Wish there was a tool I didn't know was uh, available. This is amazing. Need a life science. Yeah, that tool is out there for anyone who wants it. Uh, just go over and ask on the Discord. Need life science 50 to start a hatchery? Yes. Yeah, you need life science 50 uh, to do all the egg things. But you could hire someone to do it for you, right? So you could still post the jobs? Maybe? I didn't actually dig into if that was a thing. Uh, if the if the jobs were rentable or not. Uh, I guess you could use a Martisan as well. Can't hire, but you can use a Martisan to do it. So, a Martis, buy a Life Science 50 Martisan or get it yourself. Uh, two mystery gifts ready. What do you think about two winners? And they choose a number and we'll send them their stuff. <laughs> I think we, we, we did our common eBay and our legendary for today. Let's prep. We'll connect and we'll prep for next week to like really plan some good uh some good giveaways and be on a uh, a more consistent explanation of what we're doing before we do it <laughs> all right giveaway is launching so <clears throat> exclamation mark raffle in the chat uh we'll put your name in the draw for a chance to win a common engineering bay you do have to be following the channel to have a chance to win <clears throat> you know that your name got entered properly if you see it respond to you. Uh, you do need to follow the channel, uh, be someone who's here and is, you know, relatively active. We just don't want to give stuff away to bots or someone whose chat history is exclusively exclamation mark raffle. Um, and we love seeing um, lots of our regulars pick up lots of prizes. Now we want to know the mystery prizes. Mystery prizes we'll talk about... Um, I don't know if we'll even post them on the socials. Maybe we'll just, like, rumor them and, and talk about them in, like, hidden... We'll do some, like, general voice chats in the next uh, week or so. Yeah, exclamation mark raffle. Puts your name in the, in the draw for a chance to win. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, follow the channel. Be here. Be a person. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. And, uh, yeah, we're going to quickly get through those last ones today. Uh, we don't have a lot of the, like, general uh, stuff set up, but I can just, if I check, you've been following since February 16th, uh, person who is trying to check. Where's the mystery? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could do mystery, mystery draws without telling people what they are, too. That works. No complaints either way by me. <laughs> Have people moved buildings since the new transport prices? Absolutely. I know people who have been moving buildings constantly. Um, particularly, I think uh, Ike was moving a ton of stuff off the land up here so that we could uh, we could do a deal to swap a bunch of it. But uh, yeah, all right. Uh, no longer enter. Everyone's names are in. Okay, so the winner for today of a common engineering bay is 
Hassard6969. Congratulations, not a name that I've seen uh, a whole bunch, I don't think, but say hello if you're here. I listen while playing Dota, that's totally okay. <laughs> hey, congratulations. <laughs> I think, did you maybe win in the past as well? Is that where maybe a little bit of recognition? Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll get a common engineering base sent your way. Just drop your wax address in the chat and I'll make sure that that happens. For anyone who's ever won something on stream, um, the prizes appear in your inbox in game. Uh, so you'll see a little red notification down here and you can come claim it here as soon as it gets sent. Ah, uh, yes, won a chapter a while back. Nice, congratulations. Prices have already been changed again and are better now with glitter costs being reduced. Nice. All right, we just need your wax address. Uh, maybe we actually have it if we go through your, your history. <clears throat> okay, that works too. <laughs> um, sweet. We'll get that sent. Want some knowledge today? Yeah, so this is every Friday at the same time. Um, at least one hour every single Friday. Usually two hours. It does depend on how busy things are. If people are asking actively, um, they're really engaged. If people have questions and we're constantly going through stuff, we'll do the full two hours. I'll go past that if it, if, it, if we're really building up momentum and stuff is really going hard. Um, but basically, the stream runs until I have to do something, people are done asking questions, anything like that. Usually an hour, sometimes two hours. I, it hasn't gone too much longer than that, but I'm not opposed to that if, uh, if that's what works out. Alright, so if you're someone who's new here and haven't already, uh, make your way over to the YouTube channel. Check out the videos there. There's like really good tutorials. Things are sorted into thumbnails now with blue for tutorials, red for the live streams, and yellow for any lore and uh, sort of background information. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already done it, definitely make your way over to the Discord. Super friendly people over there. Great, great crew to ask questions to. Lots of support. Tag at community team if you ever need anything over there. Um... Just really, really great community to be a part of. Try and hop into any general voice chats that you see going on. They're uh, spontaneous voice chats, but they're usually pretty good and lots of information being shared. Uh, you can sometimes catch the developers just hanging out in voice chat. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. And uh, we'll see everybody next Friday. And uh, all right, see everyone later.